Okay, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Good day again everyone. This is just a continuation of our previous topic of finding the slope of a line. And this is method number 2. This is just simply the two-point form of slope. Our symbol for slope is this M, okay? Two-point form of a slope. Now, the two-point form would, of course, give you a value of the point being x sub 1 and y sub 1 and x sub 2 and y sub 2. And the formula would be m is equal to y sub 2 minus y sub 1 over x sub 2 minus x sub 1. Okay? So you need to follow this method um, and this um, uh, denotation for the values of the point. Okay? And just simply substitute on our equation. So let's have an example immediately para we can see how this works out okay say i have um, 7 and negative 3 and i have negative 4 and negative 2 okay so obviously this would be our x sub 1 and y sub 1 and x sub 2 and y sub 2 and if you would ask me i prefer always to have the first point as your sub 1s and your second point as your sub 2s yeah. first and our second now, having this idea of the value of x sub 1's, um, x sub 2 and x, y sub 1 and y sub 2, just simply substitute them in your given equation. And y sub 2 is of course negative 2. Minus, always minus po ah, always minus. y sub 1 is negative 3. Over, x sub 2 is negative 4. Minus always, x sub 1 is 7. And... Just simple um, arithmetic, negative 2 minus 3, you, you would have positive 1. And negative 4 minus 7, the answer would be negative 11. And if you would have a negative sign on the denominator, just simply place it in between them, giving you still an answer of negative 1 over 11. It's quite easy because you're just substituting and you are just simply doing arithmetic pop. Okay? Sige. So that was quite fast. Let's now move to the next example. Say we have 3 and 0 and um, negative 7 and say we have positive 4. Okay? So given these points, let's now use our slope equation which is y sub... Let me write this down kasi baka makalimutan yan. Okay. y sub 2 minus y sub 1 over x sub 2 minus x sub 1. Evaluating this, 4 minus 0 is definitely 4. All over negative 7 minus 3, the answer is negative 10. Again, if you have a negative number, um, negative on 1, just 1 po, uh, either on the numerator or denominator, you take it out and put it on the middle. And 4 divided by 10, when simplest form, uh, when simplifying fraction is applied, this would give you 2 over 5, negative 2 over 5. Okay, so again, there's nothing complicated about this one. The only complicated thing about this is the, ano, the integers. And I hope that it would not be a trouble for you guys, because it's just simply... Um, what they call this, uh, doing arithmetic, basic arithmetic, okay? So, let's have our last example so we can move on to the next method on the next video. Say we have um, 5 and negative 2 and we have 0 and 0, okay? 5, negative 2 and we have 0 and 0. Same, sub 1s and your sub 2s, Okay? Slope would be y sub 2 minus y sub 1 over x sub 2 minus x sub 1. And 0 minus negative 2, double negative, gives, will give you positive 2. And 0 minus 5 will give you negative 5, giving you a slope of 2 over negative 5. Okay? So that would be all for our um, two-point form of the slope. I hope you learned something today. If you would have any other questions, you can chat me or you can chat in our group chat. Thank you for listening everyone and assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.